Welcome back to Obermott Investing with Herman Stern. Today we are looking at the Stock Exchange of Ireland. We also have published a top 10 list of Canada, but at the moment we are just investing in Europe. So let's look what Ireland has to offer. I click on that, I look at the stocks, and when I look at the top value stocks, I already like the first one, which is a food producer. I think a food producer is something very valuable, very long term, uh, something that is definitely uh, going to stay around, even if the internet changes everything. What I see also, though, is it's a large company in Ireland, a large company in Ireland, and large companies are actually a little bit too small for me to invest. I typically invest in extra large or extra extra large. So let's look what they have, what they, what, what else they have. Airliners, I'm not so interested. Uh, this other food distributor is even smaller. Uh, there's agricultural product, but with a lot of leverage. Let's have a look at the combined list. Let's see what the combined list has to say in Ireland. And we are here on the combined strategy. Let's see what we have here. Again, uh, total produce. I think I should, should go into that because all the others on the combined strategy are actually worse in terms of returns. There is an agricultural product company with a little bit low safety ratings. I don't want to go into airlines. And you know what? This is actually a Swiss company. I have to check why they are also listed in Ireland. I'm going to check that with my analyst later. Let's have a look at total produce. Let's see how they look. Yes, it's a top 10 stock. Other than that, there's not so much to say. If I look at the ratings, they're all very good, especially the value ratings are all high, which probably also explains why uh, the stock has grown a little bit. Uh, you see it especially here, uh, stock growth, uh, stock returns rank is quite positive. I think I really want to have a look at that company in more detail. Let's click on total produce. Let's look what they are um, about them. They're, they're actually focused on fresh produce uh, from over 90 locations across Europe. So it's a European company, con country. Uh, very interesting. Let's see what they have to say for investor relations. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm really in favor of um, fresh produce. I think it's the new thing to come now that people realize that Fresh food is a lot better than pre-cooked food. I think people will more and more want to buy fresh food. And if you are in that business, that's actually interesting. Let's look at what news they have. The first I see is a share buyback program. Now, for me, this is actually a negative sign because, you know, if a company decides to buy back shares, it means that they don't know what to do with the money. Let's have a look at that release that's just... Um, couple of months old. Let's make this a little bigger. Um, what do they say? Uh, they continue to actively pursue further investment opportunities in both new and existing markets has also acquired. Well, that's not share buyback. Uh, it's only the share buyback is only in addition to an acquisition strategy. So that makes a lot of sense. Uh, as long as they have to defend their share buyback program, with, uh, with um, investments that they have done in, in actually in what they do best uh, running their business, it's a good sign. I'm just a li little worried, you know, if companies buy back their shares, they sometimes don't know uh, what to do with the money. Uh, announcements, corporate profile, let's see what they have under corporate governance. Um, this AIM rule 26 is actually interesting because it gives you a good overview here, description of the business. Let's look at that again. Oh, yeah, this is really convenient. This is basically everything at the glance. Let's look what they say about them. There are Europe's premier fresh producers. There are 3.1 billion in sales. It's actually quite large, you know. So uh, I think I feel comfortable. I feel comfortable in investing here. They grow import. They also grow, um, produce fresh fruits, vegetables, flowers. They are in the retail sectories. They have over 100 facilities, 22 countries in Europe, and also a little bit North America. I think this is really the company I want to buy. Now, what do I do? I first go to Google and I searched the, uh, the stock to find their, IS, I, I, um, 
their ISIN number, ISIN number, to find it in my brokerage account. And then I actually tried to look for it in my brokerage account and I couldn't find it. You know, they said they have no securities to display. Now I know from what I've seen previously, let's go back, they are at the different stock exchanges, um, stock exchanges here in Europe. You can actually click on here and you will see they are in Stuttgart, they're in Berlin. Um, and uh, I also saw that they're actually also in London. So I asked my broker, you know, why do you not have this stock to buy? And I'm going to buy it probably over the phone or with an email. And then you will see that I bought it in our next video. Thank you be, to be with us with Overmall Stock Investing. We have bought a stock that I like a lot. It's in agriculture. It's in uh, fresh fruit, actually fresh food produce. produce um, and I think that's a very good long-term investment. I'm looking forward to holding this stock. Goodbye, and I wish you all the best with your own investments.